Hello everyone, it's Jean from the Inky Owl Studio and I have a flip through of the Christmas folio I've just completed. There's going to be two parts to this video. The first part is going to be just a flip through uh, of all the elements inside here. And the second part um, is going to be a little bit more explanation of things I added since uh, the part three of the tutorial on assembling um, this folio. And so there's a link down below that uh, lists you to the first part of how to put this uh, folio together in case you're interested. So it has a uh, seam binding tie closure, a little button here sewn on, the flap opens up, and then the first flap is um, the journal. This is the journal part. And I have here a hidden tag. Yeah, can't even see that tag. And that's what's inside this pocket here. And so I do have instructions on how to make this uh, tag, a uh, secret tag. And there's a secret one over here as well. Okay, so that is the uh, inside there. And here is the journal part. And there are. Um, 44 pages front and back. I have tea stained paper. There is some um, cookie, a vintage cookie book, recipe book. So this is the uh, called Yummy Christmas is the name of the digital kit that I used in here. So I kind of have a little bit of a recipe, Christmas recipe idea in mind. Although you certainly could use this for uh, daily um, a December daily for sure but that is kind of some of the theme that's inside here so now this whole journal here uh, comes out and there is an elastic band here so that you can replace this with new paper if you'd like the cover of this journal part is a little bit of a lightweight cardstock that you can use that cover over again if you wish to and then here at the back of this is a writing board that fits inside this pocket. And so this writing board will help you to uh, avoid all the bumps and lumps that might be coming through from the folio on the opposite side. So when you close this up, then you'll just simply flip it over one more time. And now we have the folio section. Uh, of this journal. And here is an envelope that I'm going to give you with a whole bunch of little, uh, there's Christmas words, there's uh, some tabs, there's some extra tags, little pieces of ephemera uh, that I'm going to uh, include in here that you can use to decorate that journal with. And this flips over and inside here is a large tag, great for a photo mount. If you would like to do that and this opens this way and inside the glassine bag is another little journaling card that you can see there slipped inside this tuck spot is a little booklet a booklet with some paper in it and that's tucked in right there so I left this open because it's such a pretty uh, design but you know you can put photographs here as well over here is a large pocket for you to put in whatever you may have, uh, extra memorabilia, cards, whatever you'd like to say back there, or more recipe cards. Here is a flap that flips open, and inside the tuck spot is a journaling card. And when it flips open, there is a pocket here. The very top will take out a, journal, uh, a large tag with a couple more little mini tags inside the pocket and that fits in there and I did some decorating there and down here is another pocket with some more journaling cards and a little um, little envelope with a little card inside that and that fits inside like so and then over here <clears throat> excuse me we have six recipe cards which one has a slightly different design on it but there's six of these cards that fit right inside there and you can put um, your, your favorite recipes on there. 
Okay, so that is the little uh, folio, journal folio. And it all comes together and just ties up in a nice little neat package like that. So that will be listed in my Etsy shop if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed this process and uh, this flip through. And so please um, stick around if you want to know a few more details uh, what I've done here. So uh, I put in two eyelets with elastic so that I could take the journal, you know, in and out. You could have sewed this together. You could have sewed a journal inside here, uh, you know, no problem. You could have, if you really wanted to, just, you know, laid one in here if <clears throat> you didn't want to uh, bust with that and you were making your own. Over here I put a pocket, as you can see, a large pocket, and I made this writing board out of a piece of chipboard. I just put uh, glued on the, the paper and I sprayed it with an acrylic sealer. I think I used the Mod Podge uh, acrylic sealer so that uh, hopefully the uh, design will stay nice that way, nice and clean. And let's see, we did this together and then over here this is just merely uh, an envelope. And so, of course, here's our panel. We put this in, so before we glued the panel in, I glued on this envelope, covered it here with a tuck spot, made a little divot and a um, card for inside there. I took a piece of cardstock I took this red paper, this reddish pinkish paper here, and covered the front of it, but I left about this much more, a uh, little bit wider than, than the uh, cardstock, so that I had a flap to glue this in. So I just merely made a flap out of this reddish paper. Then I glued a pocket onto here, and this is this was part of a this was another like an envelope that came in the kit, but I cut it up and I just used this part of it for a pocket. And uh, then before I glued on this side of the cardstock, I glued in my plastic bag, put in the pocket, and then I put it all behind this panel here and made a little booklet where I sew down the middle of that. And then once I glued it onto this base, then I glued the base in. So that was very easy. I didn't, you know, I was running out of time when I was filming this um, because I had to be away uh, from the shop for a few days, uh, weeks. So I, I just didn't think that you needed details on that because it was pretty self-explanatory. On how that went about so anyways thank you so much for viewing and thank you for following along with this tutorial I hope it gave you some ideas there's uh, so many ways to put together an envelope folio and this is just yet one more and uh, you have a great and wonderful evening talk to you soon bye